Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing the second week of April's cash stuffing and then we are also going to start off with unstuffing the expenses from the first week of April. So we do have a little bit more um, for the cash unstuffing uh, than I think generally for the first week, but regardless, we'll just get started. <music> Okay, so first up, I'm gonna grab my $1 challenge so I can get some cash uh, to make change with. All right, so we've got, let's see, I don't think I'll need this 20, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I will do 20, but 15 and ones and five and a five. And then I think maybe for future, I will break this 20 up into like maybe a couple tens just to make it a little bit more balanced with getting cash. Okay, so let's start off um, Start off in reverse order. I like to kind of do reverse order because I feel like there's more smaller bills that way, but we'll see. I'll probably get proved wrong. And then I'm going to try to push everything forward so I stay in frame better. Here we go. Okay, so starting off in my husband's binder, we are going to take out $9 from his envelope, and this was spent on McDonald's. So not very surprising. Um, so $9 for McDonald's. Let's see, next up, we are gonna jump to business one, and this is gonna take out $33. So let's see, 33. I have it? Let me let me pause on that one for a second. Let's do the next one. Business three is going to take out just five dollars. So let's see. Good. We have a five. And let's see. So for thirty three from fifty, I need to get what is that? Seventeen dollars. Yeah. So I should have that. All right. So now I need thirty three from business one, so I can put in forty. Um, which will give me seven dollars back. One, two, there we go. And that is it for this. And what did he spend? So for business three, it was a little bit of marketing, an online marketing thing. And then for business one, the thirty-three dollars went towards some of his college transcripts. So he is applying for a position at um, one of the universities near us for a teaching position, and. I'm really excited. Um, you know, I don't know what his odds are because I'm not really immersed in his world, his in professional world. So I don't know, you know, the candidates and all of that kind of stuff. But he was asked to apply. So that's usually a good sign. And um, it would be nice for us as a family just because it would then come from some benefits that would help supplement the benefits my job provides. Um, he's always been considered pretty much an independent contractor. Um, so a lot of times there's no kind of retirement uh, benefits. There's no medical benefits. You know, everything he makes is basically cash, except for some, some times there's taxes withheld depending on the contracting gig. But um, this will represent a more steady uh, position for him. And it also might be able to decrease some of his um, individual work which would be nice because his individual work requires a lot of traveling and it's just a lot of wear and tear in his car. It's a lot of, you know, sitting in the car for him, um, being stuck in traffic, gas, you know. So there's a lot of benefits if he could actually have a job where he goes to one location and beginning of a day, stays there for the day, comes home at a regular time, and then, you know, he wouldn't have to do it every day because at the university he, he wouldn't teach every day. But I'm just really excited. We'll see how that goes. But, of course... It's been quite a while, but he had to provide some transcripts. So that's what that cost came from. Okay, next up, let's do the investment binder. So we're going to do kids and athletics is going to come out of here. So kids, it's going to be $22. Let's see if we have it. So we've got $40. And so we'll need $8 back. One, two, three. Uh, no, <laughs> $18 back, right? So 22, uh, 30, and 40. There we go. And let's see with athletics if I have enough change right now. 
So Athletics is going to be $198 coming out. This was for ski lessons that when we were up at the bed and breakfast that didn't hit the credit card until after we came back into the new month. Um, a team dinner for my middle son's soccer team. His practice was canceled, and so they decided to have a team dinner instead. And then he needed, um, they both needed new jerseys. So 198 will be 200 and we'll get $2 back perfect all right and that will be it for athletics right now and kids okay and then sinking funds so why don't we go in reverse order for this one as well because I just think I have more change back here so health is going to take out $399. So one, two, three, four hundred dollars and get back one. So that really depleted health quite a bit. Um, that was for the last of the speech therapy that was billed. We are done. We've been done with speech therapy for I think two weeks now. So I was just settling up all the past bills. Um, and so now I'm looking forward to not having that about $400 about a month um, going out. So that'll be great. Next one up is going to be subscriptions. Here we go. Subscriptions is going to take out $40. So 20, 30, 40. Vehicle maintenance is going to be next week. I just um, spent some money on the tires to replace the tires. So that'll be good. Um, eating out is the next one, which will be $58. So let's do 60, we'll get $2 back. And I can't, can't remember exactly what we did for eating out, but let's see. So eating out, we did a Culver's and it looks like an Arby's. So my oldest son really wanted an Arby sandwich when we were on our way to soccer game and it's kind of random because we don't really ever get Arby's ever and I don't know when he would have had it the first time but oh well um milk delivery is $20 even so we had a couple weeks where we didn't have any milk delivery and now we're starting back up groceries is going to be $20 as well so when we came back from bed and breakfast, we had Easter and then we had all kinds of leftovers from Easter. And then we had not necessarily leftovers, but you know, you buy everything to prepare the Easter meals, multiple meals. Like I think we made uh, burritos on that Saturday night and then we had like leftover meat and tortillas and veggies and everything. So we kind of made a couple meals out of that then. Um, so yeah, for Easter, we had a very light or that week, um, we had a very light week of groceries, just kind of eating everything up. Lots of hard boiled eggs. Um, gas is going to be 142 so this one will require $8 back. So one, two, okay. So here I don't have it, but let me just grab some change real quick, which I probably should have done from the beginning. Put two fives here for a 10. Um, and it needs $8 back. So one, two, three. And we really used up our ones that time. All right. And then not um, part of this cash unstuffing is I did spend money on getting my nails done. So I just use cash for that now for the, the service and the tip because they started surcharging the credit cards. Um, and so I decided it wasn't worth it to me to spend like another two something on it. Um, so now I just pay cash for that. And I will be tracking that a little bit better um, on my monthly recaps because I realized that when I say what I spent, it was only what I was unstuffing because that's what I was tracking um, and, it's, and in the videos. And the cash was, you know, it wasn't always that much, but maybe anywhere from maybe $50 to $100 was not being reflected in what I spent for the month. So I'm going to start uh, tracking that better. All right, so $20 is coming back out. And we'll go into the $1 challenge. And I will definitely need to um, switch out and make some smaller bills, the reverse, um, so that I can make sure that I have change for next time. So this really should be, let me see, 
I think nine hundred and forty six dollars. So one hundred, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty seven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eight, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, nine, twenty, thirty, forty, five, six. Four. So nine hundred and forty six. That was perfect. Um, I'm going to put that over here to the side. And then I'm going to reset for the cash stuffing. So one second. Okay. So now let's grab the cash. This video is going to need a lot of editing because there's a couple of stop, stop and starts here. All right. So today we are going to be stuffing a total of 1000 uh, no, I'm sorry, $2,702, 1300 of which is placeholders, which leaves us 1402 in cash. So here's our 1300 in placeholders. I'll just put those aside. And then we're looking at 1,402 in cash. So 150, 250, 350, 4, 55, 56, 50, 7, 58, 50, 70, 90, 9, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1,010, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1,110, 30, 50, 70, 90, 1,210, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90, 1300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 1400, 1, and 2. I'm really proud of myself that I didn't get <clears throat> caught up because we have that kind of odd landing with the 50s and then you have to do, you know, the odds 30, 50, 70, 90. Um, that always, always, always trips me up. Part of it's you just have to go into it with confidence. And I was just like, nope, I'm just going to not second guess myself as I'm counting and just go with it. So could be said for a lot of things in life, right? Okay, so let's start in the reverse and we're going to do the challenges first. So first up is our 12-month challenge for April. And today we're going to be stuffing $100. So we're going to do it with two 50s. I had a lot of 50s and not a lot on 100s. So, got 130. There we go. Check that off. The next up is going to be the kids' birthdays. So, kids today are going to get stuffed with $15. So, I'll do a 10 and a 5. And that gives us 102, 50, 70, 80, 90, 95, 300. Color in another Lego head. And that is it for this actual binder. We're gonna move on over to the savings boxes. So we'll do 50 week challenge. This is going to be 25 today. These are blank envelopes. So I have no idea how much I'm actually going to have at the end of the year. That'll be a fun unstuffing. Um, basically how I do this is that when I Oops. When I budget for the month, um, I see, I first I budget all of my uh, sinking funds, envelopes, things like that. And then I see what's left over for the savings boxes. And a lot of times when I sweep uh, envelopes like groceries and gas, for example, I designate that money specifically to the challenges. A lot of times I have a little extra, so um, that's why sometimes you'll see more, sometimes you'll see less. It just depends. Um, Last year I did $25 even for every week. So my goal is to try to do more than 25 on average. Okay, back to school box. The next one is going to be 35. Yep, and so we'll get 20, 10, and five. And this one I did create so that it had set amounts. It's the same amount as I had last year, which worked out pretty well. Um, again, covers like initial school fees, all the school supplies. Last year did actually cover um, first day of school outfits, um, new backpacks, um, and I ended up doing pictures too. So that was really, I was, I was happy at how far it went. Um, and I only had two kids in school at that point. So this year, 
I think I'll still only have two kids. Uh, I don't think we're sending the third one yet, but we'll see. Um, and I talk about this a lot, but this one is a total of $825. There's 30 envelopes that are pre-marked. And so I like to start at the beginning of the year and just do it weekly for 30 weeks, which brings me to the end of July. Um, but I could also do it kind of similar to how I do the 52 week challenge where I just put aside, oh, I can do hundred dollars this week. Next week I can only do 50 and then I stuff, you know, whatever is appropriate. You know, I, I would go and say, okay, 10, I need to find a 40 or, you know, a 20 and a 20 to be able to do my 50 for that week. <clears throat> okay. Now we're going to go right back to our regular sinking funds, starting from the top. So gas has been more expensive recently. Um, so we're doing 150 and we're doing quite a spread of bills so we don't get crunched. 50, 100, 40, 50. So 150, 5, 6, 7, 8. Hopefully, because we're not coming from the bed and breakfast, our gas bill this week will be a little bit less. Groceries is going to get $100 and I'm going to do 250s for that. So 120, 40, 60, 80. And I am gonna go do a little bit of grocery shopping today because they have some really good sales. And I wanna take advantage of those. Milk is gonna get 30. So 30, 40. Eating out is going to get $100. So 120, 40, one, two. I'm pretty happy with this. I'm trying to limit eating out this month because we went crazy last month. And so to me, I think it's like an every other thing. Household is going to get $60. So my husband has finished uh, installing the hardwood floor in the two downstairs bedrooms that my mom and dad are, are moved into. Um, now we just have a little bit of cleanup. Um, we have a dumpster in the garage, or not in the garage, in the driveway. And so we're putting all of the, you know, old carpeting and padding and scraps from the wood in there. Um, we're also putting in, we're kind of just doing like a thorough cleaning of the house right now. And so I'm putting in a lot of things that, you know, like stained clothes, broken toys, things like that, that wouldn't really be good to donate. So household is going to be one, two, three. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And um, those are being coming from um, our bank account. So we do have a larger bank account um, than what these envelopes reflect for bigger things like major house repairs or renovations as opposed to, you know, like needing light bulbs or I'm trying to think like maybe yard, you know, yard work that's not like landscaping, re-landscaping something. Um, so yeah, car insurance is going to be $60. So, whoops, 60, 40, 40, 60, 80, 90, 310, 20. And that will be paid tomorrow. Whoops. Someone's at the front door. I think my son was playing outside. Now, whenever any of my kids are playing outside, they always want to run to the front door and ring the doorbell, so sorry if you heard that. Um, vehicle maintenance is going to get $100. So 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 50, 6, 7, and 8. And quite a bit of that is gonna go towards tires, um, which are scheduled to be put on on Friday. Subscriptions is gonna get $10. So 10, 11, 12, 13. Gifts is going to get $50. It will be my husband's birthday this month, but he will be gone for his actual birthday. So we'll celebrate when he gets back. 150, 220, 30, 1, 2, and 3. Holidays is going to get $20. So 50, 75, 6, 7, and 8. And I don't really do much for any holidays until... Halloween. So I am putting less in per month for holidays, but let me know if you guys bef between now and Halloween. So really like 4th of July, Memorial Day, uh, Labor Day, um, Juneteenth. Like if you guys do any kind of special celebrations for any of those, let me know. I'd be really curious to hear what you do or if there's anything that you budget for. Um, sometimes for 4th of July, 
we don't really do fireworks. We do sparklers um, because my kids really don't care for the sound of fireworks. But um, we will go we'll go see like the city, you know, display that does them. But we don't do them in the backyard type of thing. And then the only other thing that sometimes I do is maybe I buy like a T-shirt or something for Fourth of July. Um, travel is going to get $60. I'm also cutting back right now on budget for travel because I want to increase budget for both health and car maintenance. So 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 90, 4, 10, 30, 5, and 6. Health is going to get $100 because health definitely needs to get beefed up. Um, I go for my MRI next week, so that'll be ex exciting, I guess. I don't know. I'm not nervous about it. I'm not claustrophobic at all, and I won't know the results of the MRI until I go to my OB the next week, so really not nervous at all about that appointment. 1, 2, 3, 50, 400, 50, 70, 90, 1, and 2. So it's good that that is getting beefed up again. Investment binder. So 401k had super fun deposit last week. Uh, my company did uh, add their contribution for both 401k and pension. So that was really exciting. So 1,000 is going in this week. That is from my paycheck. And I cannot wait until the end of the month to see what the balance is and see if we have to consolidate these placeholders. HSA will get $300. So again, not counting, I was about to count that, but we will rebalance that at the end and consolidate if needed. Kids are going to get $100, so 50. Um, so got 50 in the gift card, 150, 70, 90, 210, 20, 5, 6, and 7. Allowance is going to get $7. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven in reserve, so that should be 14. I do wanna do a quick shout out to my son. So we were doing his allowance um, a couple days ago. And so this is his binder. And again, um, we've got four categories for the kids' binders. And I do have this on my shop if you have any kids that wanna get started. But um, so we do goal, fun, give, and save. And so basically his goal is he's saving up for something big like a Lego set or right now he's talking about big Tyrannosaurus dinosaur. Fun, um, I let him use this money for whatever he wants. This is I want him to get used to saving up money for a specific goal, but I also want him to sometimes just have money that I don't have any control over. If he wants to buy candy, if he wants to buy a toy that I know will break in two seconds, that's up to him. Like I feel like he needs to learn to make some of those mistakes on what are good purchases and what are maybe not so good purchases. Um, and I feel like if I'm always kind of controlling it, he won't learn that really important step. So that's what fun is for. Give, I make him save up money here for gifts for his brothers. So that's for their birthdays or for Christmas. And if he really, you know, is finding, like he found little squishmallows for them for Christmas. Um, if he's got access in here, then I do things like for his grandparents. And then finally save. Um, this is for his own you know, 529 plan or investments. I'm not sure. I haven't put it anywhere yet, but I make him save a, basically a quarter of every allowance. So we have $7, so it doesn't always work out equally. I make him rotate that ex those extra $3 where he allocates them. Um, but I also make him if he gets gift money. So he got $5 from my mom for Easter. And I made him put one of those $5 into his save. So even if it's gift, I try to get him to always think about, you know, saving something for himself first. And then I let him put it, whatever he wants as a gift into whatever category he wants. So if he wanted to put it all in fun, um, he could, you know, the $4 remaining. And I think he actually ended up putting it in goal. And then the other thing that I want to show in his save is I do have some paper challenges for him. And so he did take that $1 from Easter and I made him put it towards back to school. And so he colored it in. It's a $1 pencil, just like these. Um, and so I'm putting it in his save behind the savings challenge. Um, and then when it gets to school time, he can pick something out and buy it. So if it's a special shirt or 
you know, if he's got something, it could be ice cream for after school, but something that's geared for towards that first day of school. So anyways, I just, I'm really proud of him. He's been, you know, pretty encouraged by it. And so just, we just started doing the, the savings challenges with the, you know, the coloring cards. So just thought I would point that out um, and encourage anybody who's doing it for their own kids. You know, sometimes it doesn't seem like it's working, but you know, it's better than nothing. Um, I feel like, you know, if you're watching this, you probably would agree that we aren't really taught financial habits anywhere except by our own family members. And most of the time for a lot of us, we're probably taught more bad habits that we shouldn't do um, than good habits, right? So anything you're trying to do with your kids now is better than nothing. And it's more than they will get probably anywhere else in their life. We don't have anything in school for it. Okay, academics is going to get $25. And this one I might be slowing down a little bit too, just because Spanish Club is really all we spend on academics and we're not gonna have that for till the fall. So one, two, three, four, five hundred, twenty, five, thirty, one, two, three, and four. Athletics is going to get fifty dollars. So we just spent two hundred or three hundred, I think. Um, and so 500, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1,000, 50, 70, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That 500 placeholder is representing money that is in the bank. Enrichment is going to get $50. So 1, 2, 3, 50, 70, 85. And that is it for the investment, whoops, investment binder. Moving on to the husband's binder. Try to go through this a little more quickly because I know where this one's taking a lot. It's been really chatty today. Um, $30, so 20, 30. We've got 20, 40, 50, 55, six, seven, eight, and nine. Next up is Sartorial, which is going to get $10. So 50, 65, 6. Business 1 will get $20. So 50, 70, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Business 2 is also going to get $20. So 50, 75, 6, and 7. And business three is going to get $30. So 100, 2, 3, 340. No, 320, 40, 50, 1, 2, and 3. So 353. And then Next up will be my binder. I only have two categories today. So first will be my personal binder, which is going to get $25. So 10 and three fives. So do those two for the wallet. 102, 10, 15, 20, one, and two. That was really difficult for me there. Um, and then next will be fashion, which I'm slowly starting to build. Um, and fashion's going to get $20, so 120 for fashion. All right, and then that is it, except I will stuff these fives into my wallet here. Um, I've been saving these up because I wanna do a larger donation. So we've got 15 right here in gratitude. And like I said, I'm gonna be doing it for World Central Kitchen. Um, I am grateful for the ability to always have food in my household. Um, I think food security is one of the, the most tragic things in this world, um, especially in a country that is as wealthy as ours, um, that there's still food insecurity. Um, and then kindness is another one because um, to me, food is also love. Uh, it's been represented by my family 
and judging from all the comments from last video you guys definitely associate food with love from family members with favorite dishes and so um, to me making something for somebody or providing food for somebody is is one of the best um, acts of kindness you can give so anyways um i will put a link down for world central kitchen if anybody else wants to check out you know what their mission statement is and what they're doing um if you have any ability to um include them in your budget for a one-time donation that would be great but obviously you know everybody's situation is different i am by no means expecting anybody to to ever donate more than they can or donate to anything that's specifically something i'm donating to i just want to provide information if anybody's interested so um that is it for today. Let me know um, in the comments what local or international charities that you like, and maybe we can get a list going of, you know, just different options for people. All right. Thank you, everybody. I will talk to you guys in the next video.